My name is James Lyne and I'm the Global Head of Security Research at Sophos. I first realised that I was interested in IT security when I was 14 years old. The thing that really hooked me was an interest in encryption, the process that keeps information safe when it's transited across the internet. Figuring out how to make and break those codes was just the right kind of problem to snare my interest. We see 30,000 new infected web pages every single day, the majority of which are small businesses that have had their websites hacked, which means that anyone visiting their web page may become a victim of malicious code. So when you're browsing the internet, when it comes to being compromised, it's really a question of when, not a question of if, you will be attacked. We used to be able to individually name computer viruses. So we'd find an interesting sample, reverse engineer it, figure out what it does, and then based on where it came from, give it a name. Unfortunately, that's no longer possible in that we see over 250,000 new pieces of malicious code every single day in Sophos Labs. The last 27 years of malicious code have been predominantly focused on the PC platform. And most of us have got used to using the likes of our smartphone without ever really thinking about the threat of malicious code. Now on the Android platform, we've seen over 600,000 pieces of malicious code, whilst most members of the public have no idea it's even happening. So I think we're going to see all the maturity of cybercrime from the traditional PC world shift to the mobile, but just over the next couple of years in an incredibly condensed time frame. If there were no more security professionals left, the world today would be incredibly different. Frankly, going online and engaging in our everyday lives would be a very unsafe activity. Not only would it be masses of fraud and the danger of having your money stolen at any second, but potentially systems like traffic lights and power reactors could be open to attack. So it'd be a very scary world indeed. We're at the core of every technology, a supporting pillar to the UK economy and to every single technology out there. Every time we come up with a new innovation in any profession out there, it's up to us security professionals to find a way to make sure that it isn't damaging to our lives instead of a force for good.